between God. We don't see or hear about everything that happens in, in the out-of-the-way places, what we would call out-of-the-way places. It's not very long ago that uh, uh, Dr. Spring Chuck Collins come by and give a word of testimony about how God has delivered him and some things that he had been through. And now, this gentleman here is the father of one of our uh, bus drivers. Amen. He has a story to tell this morning. Amen. Mr. Williams comes to sing. We want him to share a testimony. Good morning. God is good. Amen. All the time. Amen. Uh, I just wanted to share a couple things with you this morning. Uh, I'm just thankful to be here. This is uh, my first time uh, on the outside of the prison walls uh, to be able to attend a church service. Amen. Amen. Uh, I've been, uh, I was in Huttonsville for three years and in, uh, in a regional jail two years before that. Uh, you know, I was guilty of a crime that carries a life sentence. You know, I got a 20 year sentence. Uh, God made a way for me to get out five years on parole. And, uh, Amen. And uh, he's put me uh, in the care of uh, some good Christian people. Uh, I've been serving God now for four and a half years. You know, uh, trying to let my light shine in that place. And I, and I was, I'm sure of that. Uh, with his help, you know, I've uh, tried to help as many as I could. You know, it, it, was, it really was a dark place. And uh, yeah. you know, my children have been going here. And, uh, I have a couple other places that, uh, that I wanted to go and uh, share my story. But, uh, you know, God put it on my heart, you know, to, to come here, you know, because my children has been here and it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's been a blessing you know that uh, to know that the hedge of protection of God and, and the people that He put in their lives you know because of the situation that they're in I'm, I'm completely responsible you know my kids are happy they're loved uh, you know they don't have much you know and, and I'm responsible for that and uh, I was letting the worldly things you know have control of my life and uh, it tore me down and. Uh, and it led me to uh, incarceration. And uh, it's just, you know, that, that same power that, that, that raised Jesus from the dead was taking care of those children. And, uh, Amen. That was the same power. And, uh, you know, his blood has been applied to my life. You know, I'm forgiven. You know, I'm setting my treasures up in a different place now. I'm very thankful. And uh, I just I just hope that uh, if anyone in here, you know, knows has a friend or uh, you know, a family member. It seems like everybody knows someone. Is that is, maybe they seem that they're in jail or even in prison. And yeah. I know that the letters that I received from people that cared, you know, meant a lot. Just a letter, and uh, you know, we know this is this is the real world. We live in a place where people try to manipulate you and, and try to get money from you. But the ones that really do care, you know, and to get that letter, they don't get letters or visits. You know, like myself, I never got visits from my children. Uh, this is like. The fifth time that I've talked to my youngest, Aiden, he's four, and, and Jonathan's six. And uh, they're just, uh, they, they're good people, you know, their hearts, you know, I know their hearts right. You know, the, the kids are unaccountable for the things that they're doing, and uh, we're so responsible for raising them up. And, yeah. and their, their mother's lost, and she needs prayer. Uh, Amen. She just had another baby. Uh, it was a week old yesterday. So they have a little brother now. There's three of them. The, the, young, the, the youngest is here today, Trevor. He, he's not mine. This is with her husband now. And uh, so she has four boys, uh, a week old, a three-year-old, a four-year-old, no, a three-year-old, uh, a four, and a six-year-old. Four boys. And, uh, you, know, they're, they're, you know, they're lost. And I'm just, I just want to thank everybody. And, uh, I'm, I'm going to come with my children, you know, to church. And uh, Amen. I think God's led me to, uh, to come here. Amen. I know that, you know, I have been doing well in, uh, in trying to do good. And uh, I know that, that that was God's favor in getting me out. But, you know, when I mess up, and I know that, you know, my right, my righteousness is filthy rags. And uh, I just know that, that I'm forgiven and that I'm trying. I'm, I know there's consequences for sin, and, and I know that, uh, that he rewards those that are obedient, and I, and I know he's been rewarding me. Yeah. And that this is a day that's a, it's rewarding. Hey. Amen. You don't know how it is to, uh, to live in a place like that, and uh, to be serving God, and, and, and to see people, they even are good people, but they're, they're lost, and uh, even in, in prison, good there's good people. 
but you know, you know what's going to happen if those people die, and uh, they're going to hell regardless of how good you are. If you don't know Jesus, you're going to that. You're going to hell. Amen. You know, the people don't want to try to preach that in prison. They just want to try to keep. It's hard to keep the pulpits full. And, and I just, I'd really, truly encourage you if you know someone, you know, just to try to reach out and just, just to help them. And uh, I'm thankful for the prayers. I know that the prayers just help my children and. Uh, that it's the only thing that it's, it's God's care, and uh, they've provided all their needs, physical needs, and I just am thankful, and uh, I just hope you guys continue to pray for me. Yeah, my name is Matthew, and uh, my children, I, and you'll see me next Sunday. Yeah. I, I keep the operators until next week, and i got to get my life all that back. And I have a vehicle. You know, God has provided all my needs, and uh, I just want to continue. I went to my employer's house. It was my old employer of all things. You know, he, he's seen that change in me. Because, you know, we all know that people, you know, we can say anything. And uh, if, we, if we're trying to get something that we want, we'll say anything and try to manipulate people. Right. But uh, they really know me and they truly seem that change in me. And they, and they just really stuck out their self to help me. Thank, praise God for you. Amen. I thank you. And uh, I just give all the, all the credit to God. I mean, it, it's nothing that I've done. It's, it's, it's everything in him. And uh, I'm so thankful for this day. Thank Amen, buddy. Yeah. Amen. 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 Said it many times. I was in prison. Yeah. I was a slave in a dungeon, tied up, forgotten. Boy, I mean, one time he said, "For the Spirit of the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel." Right. Glad tidings. He said to release the captive. Right. I've been released. I've been delivered. I, I am glad, Brother Matthew, was coming. Yeah. That's why we see in Miss Hope up there. That's why she goes up there to Flatwoods Jail every Sunday morning. So them ladies can come out. And if they can't come out, if they don't get out, they get to have church up there. They have paid. They are paying for the crime. And rightfully so. He, he knows that. But he told me outside this morning he's told me. He said, you know, you can serve the Lord in there if you will. Yeah. You can serve the Lord in jail if you will. I wonder if you can serve the Lord out here if you just would. Amen. You learned this. If you can serve the Lord in jailhouse, surely to goodness you can serve the Lord free. Yeah. Uh, Miss Gwen Saint. 